Alrighty, we are starting off our morning with the kids' Mickey waffles. I took one of Dad's, he just wanted one. So it comes with Mickey waffles, two sides. So I got hash browns and bacon, which is down under here. These to-go containers are not great for food presentation. Um, and I got an orange juice and I got a coffee. So we're gonna eat this real quick and then try to rope drop. Hi, hello everyone. We are currently in line for the Jungle Cruise. We were a couple minutes late to rope drop, but like we essentially rope no, dropped. We were there. We were there. We were there at nine. We were there at nine. Um, and we went on Space Mountain because that um, was essentially a walk on. And then we went on Haunted Mansion because that was also that 10 minutes. That was a walk on. So now we took a bathroom break, so now it's about 10 minutes after 10. And we're in line for Jungle Cruise. And then we're going to yeah. go get a Dole Whip after. So making Ooh, good progress. Chance. This is already starting to melt. It's got it's gotten quite warm today, thankfully. This is my first Dole Whip ever. Ooh. That's so good. That's a strong pineapple right there. I love pineapple, so. Mm. It lives up to the hype, it really does. This is big too. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, it's great, that's all I'm gonna say. So we are at the wave. We came for lunch, but they were able to get me this because I really wanted it. This is the herb chicken. It comes with potatoes. And it looks absolutely stunning. And they put this on it, so you know it's gluten cool free. All right, so what do you want me to do? Show your food. Show the food. All right, bao bun. Sliders. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And this is the famous bacon and eggs. And I just want to capture breaking open that egg here because I think that's going to be the money shot right there, people. That is as beautiful and perfect an egg is what you're going to find and look at that pork belly. Yeah, it looks really pretty. All right, I'm gonna hand this over to Bria. I'm gonna take a bite. Here is the non-alcoholic drink I ordered. It's a nice little grapefruit spritzer. We are chowing right now. We'll have a review later, but so far everything is absolutely to die for. Before dessert, because we just can't stop, I got the creme brulee. I wish it was toasty a little more, but it looks nice. It's nice and thin. It's a very thin little plate. And Dad got the chocolate trio. That's a chocolate croissant red pudding, a brownie creme brulee topping, and then a German chocolate cake. Fantasy land, I'm walking right down the middle of Main Street. U.S.A. The U.S.A. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. How was the meal? The meal was amazing. It's definitely up there with just one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. I mean, the polenta was incredible. It was creamy, salty, cheesy. Um, and the egg on top, when you broke open that yolk, it just, it all came together. I mean, the pork belly, of course, was great because it's pork belly, but 
it's just the cohesiveness of the whole meal that was so great. Um, the dessert, even better, the German chocolate cake. Um, it wasn't super sweet. It was a, it was a nice dark chocolate. It's fantastic. The brownie uh, and creme brulee. That was a nice mix, but the, the the chocolate croissant bread pudding just blew it all away. That was my favorite. So uh, that's going to be a Magic Kingdom tradition for me from here on out. My meal was also really good. Um, it was just, I don't know, really kind of homey and warmy. You know, like it was kind of like your Thanksgiving meal type deal, but just really fancy. The chicken was so good. It was a chicken breast, but it was perfectly cooked. It was juicy. It was airline chicken. I mean, it was on the bone. It was airline yes, chicken. Yes, yes. But it was a breast. Yeah. That's my point. Um, and it was really juicy. It wasn't overcooked. The skin was nice and crispy. We were there for lunch, and it is a dinner-only offering, but they were willing. They were able to make it for me. It just took a little longer, just because I really wanted it. We were supposed to go at dinner, and then we switched our plans around to just kind of go along with the flow a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it was really good and the creme brulee was delicious. I wish it was a little more crisp on the top. They didn't really brulee the top as much as I've had in previous creme brulees, but it came with some fruit and it was just such a good meal. We're currently in line for Splash Mountain. Um, earlier we rode Big Thunder. So now we're finishing up the trio of mountains. Um, the sign now says 45. Oh, good. Well, hopefully So it hopefully it will be 45. We got in line at four. So we'll see. It's been a pretty long line all day, but we're okay with it this time because we got to walk off all the food we just ate. But yeah, it's been a good day. On Splash Mountain, um, as you can see from what's left of Dad's shirt. I'm pretty dry now. Yeah, you're pretty dry now. We got wet. My hair is dry now, but it was wet, like soaked. But we're in line for, what are we? it's a small yeah, world. it's a small world. I've never been on this ride. I have no interest on going on this ride. I don't want to get this song stuck in my head, but we're doing it because we're It's a 20 minute it. wait. I haven't been on it either because he hates it, but it usually is a long wait, but since it's only 20 minutes, we're just going to go for it because it's only 20 minutes. So here we go. Maybe it'll be another frozen situation where it, melts my cold curmudgeon heart but i don't think this is going to be the case and then after we're going to go on um, peter pan's flight because i haven't been on that either that's about a 15 minute wait <laughs> in here is garbage oh what was that that was fun anyways hello i hope you all enjoyed today's video and the magical day that we had at magic kingdom it was honestly such a great day we got to do everything we wanted to do except of course the people mover because it was closed but it was just such a great day after we went on it's a small world we went on peter pan's flight and honestly, I gotta say, I'm not a fan of It's a Small World. It really activated my fight or flight. I wasn't a fan. It felt so long. I swear it took 20 minutes to ride the ride and get off the ride. I'm currently on my college campus. You couldn't tell by the mass and like the social distancing markers. From there, we went over to Space Mountain because I just really wanted to ride Space Mountain again because it's probably one of my favorite rides. I don't know, I just love the queue. I just, I don't know, it feels like one of those rides where it kind of feels like home, you know, in like a weird way. Um, I also, we didn't even say, we went on Pirates of the Caribbean while we were in Adventureland. I don't know why we didn't say anything about that, but we did, great as usual. Don't know why we didn't mention that. Of course we went on Pirates of the Caribbean, it's Magic Kingdom. But anyway, back to my original thought, we went on Space Mountain and then ran over to go get in line for Seven Dwarves Mine Train and we made it right before the park closed. We had about five minutes to spare. And then we waited in line and we got to go on that, um, which was really fun. I loved it. It was my first time going on it and I didn't realize how short it was. It was kind of disappointing, I'm gonna be honest. But then we went home, we went back to the resort. 
I think we got another bite to eat, but overall it was just a really, really relaxing evening. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I've been absolutely loving making these videos. It's been such a learning experience for me. And I would love if you could give it a thumbs up and go subscribe. Um, and keep watching me grow and learn and keep making this content that I love to make. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.